Hey everyone, okay, so I'm gonna do a halo braid. Um, this is my version of a halo braid. And um, as you can see, my hair is super, super, super long right now. Um, so this might not work the style the way I'm doing it. It may not work for uh, you if your hair is shorter, but you can do different braids. There's different styles, the different ways to do it for the shorter hair. Because uh, my daughter, if you've seen, I'm going to put a link down below for this side braid. Um, it looks very similar and you can work with a shorter hair because her hair was a lot shorter in those videos. So, uh, my hair is super long. I'm getting ready to chop it off. So, I thought I better get this video done before I go and cut my hair. Um, and I'm also probably going to go red. Back to the red. And uh, maybe like an ombre. I'm not sure. So, uh, to begin, I've already brushed out my hair. Um, I'm going to take the bangs out. It's not a lot of bangs, but go ahead and brush all that out as best you can. Okay. And then, um, go ahead and pull it. What I'm going to do first, I know I've got some little bumps and stuff, but that's okay. It won't really uh, matter. This is more for just kind of a casual yet dressy look. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of separate about where I want my bangs to kind of lay. So, I think that will work there. And then, um, you can separate down the center of the back of the hair if you want, but I usually don't. I usually just kind of go in and just kind of go and separate best I can, just to make sure there's even sides of your hair. Okay. And then all you do is just start to braid. And um, instead of just a regular... Um, braid where you pull one side in. I'm just doing just the front. So I'm just pulling the extra on the front side. And I'll get a little closer. Okay, so. So you grab however much hair you want to get. Okay. Okay, and then you just section three pieces like you just usually do when you're braiding anything. Okay, and then you're going to just start to braid it. Okay, and then this piece, I'm going to take some of the hair. I'm going to take some of this hair and take extra hair. So just the front. Every hair that goes to the front, you grab that, okay? And then you twist, and then this piece goes, and you just grab. And I'm grabbing a lot, honestly, because I'm trying to get it to have thicker braids. And then you just keep twisting and pulling this through. Grab more. Like I said, it's just a lot. And see, I have a pretty good amount of bang, too. So, um, like, shorter bangs. And you can loosen it in a few minutes. I usually wait till about halfway, or sometimes I'll even go all the way down. See, I'm just taking that. And then I kind of start moving it back towards the back of the ear a little bit better. Just so it's not above the ear. And twist. Make sure you don't have any other pieces. Twist, twist, twist. And then I go back behind the ear. Like that. Okay. And then twist again. Make sure you don't have any of the hair. Okay. Alright. And then finally that last strip. Okay. And then, then what I'll do is before I finish this, I'll go in and I'll pull those hairs. Just pull them up a little bit. Not too much. See how the bang starts to kind of come through here? That's okay. I'm kind of going for a messier look anyway. If you start pulling a little bit more, it'll start loosening up. Just like that. And just pull on one side of the braid, it's just, it looks better that way. You're less likely to not mess up too much of the braid. So there we go. And then I'm going to braid all, almost all the way down. Okay. I love this look for uh, going to work out in, actually. But sometimes I'll wear it to, like, church or wherever. Because it's really cute. It's really nice. You can dress it up, dress it down. Then I'm going to just take a uh, invisible band. And of course, got to use the teeth. And I'm going to finish that end as best that I can. Okay. And 
See, I'm getting ready to go uh, work out today, so probably, and I'm probably going to go to a really a new restaurant. So I wanted to look kind of cute because I'll probably go and eat the restaurant after my workout. Hopefully they'll have salads on the menu. Okay, so it's all the way down, all the way down. Okay, and then this side, I'm gonna go ahead and brush this out a little bit too. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you know, I love to have uh, just messiness sometimes. And you do the exact same thing. Now, I usually kind of go a little farther back when I do my separation here. Because my hair is thinner on one side, obviously, when you've got more bang on one side, it's just thicker. Okay, so I'm doing this, okay, and then pulling again to the front, all that hair to that front piece, okay, pulling that to the front there. This is kind of like a waterfall braid too, if you just kind of left that hair and then you started on the other end, that's kind of like a waterfall braid. Okay, pulling that. Okay, starting to go in the back of that ear. Oh, I just love this style. So pretty. Definitely one of my absolute favorite looks. And I find it pretty easy. Don't worry about any loose ends. You can fix that. There are a lot of bobby pins involved, so. Okay. Just kind of separating the hair. Okay. Get an elastic band and finish off that end. Okay, so um, this is basically what it looks like on the back, just like that. And all you're gonna do is just take one side. I usually kind of start on the right side and I usually kind of have all this here kind of laid over top of that, okay? And then I'm just gonna lay this right on top of that other braid. See how that braid is here? This braid's up here. I'm going to just wrap it all the way down. I usually kind of pull it tight and then wrap it. And the reason why I pull it tight is so that I can hide this behind these braids. So that's what I do. So I kind of push it behind and that's the reason why I have the braid in the front. And I just tuck it in. Just, just like that. And then you can use bobby pins or hair pins. I have hair pins too. And then I usually just kind of go in and I just start to bobby pin if I can. I'm trying to make sure my arm is not in your all's view. Just like that. And then another one to secure. And I just go in with this braid. Okay, so after I've already done that, I'm going to take this hair, and again, I'm going to take this, see how this is kind of underneath, and then I'm going to go above that braid, just like that, all the way, and then I'm going to go above that, and if you have any little hairs up here, if you take it and you tuck it under, then it's a lot easier. See that? I've already tucked most of that under. You can even take a comb. Like I said, I'm pretty much going on, going to go work out. All right. So then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to tuck it underneath that braid. Okay? Just a little bit. Lift it up a little bit. You don't want a lot. You don't want to have too much. And then I'm just going to tuck all that into there. Okay? And take a bobby pin and go in there. I'll try to. <laughs> All right, just like that, and hold it and secure some more. 
make sure it's all secure. And this is just like such one of my favorite looks. And you can spray your white pens. I usually spray them a lot. Okay, so that's basically. I'm gonna take some little hairpins. These are hairpins if you don't know what a hairpin is. You can get these anywhere, CVS, wherever. I just tend to, I just kind of squeeze it a little bit and then there we go. Okay. Take another one of those. Sometimes these are just smaller um, or they look prettier in the hair. So, so sometimes I'll use those for certain, like just like that. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. And it should be pretty decent back here. Yeah, so, and then I love to wear, like, I'll show you what, I don't see the other earring. <laughs> um, but anyway, what I would do is just wear some cute little dangles. Just like that, because I love little dangle earrings. Um, these I got from Etsy. I have a huge collection of little artesian type of earrings, but um, from Etsy. Anyway, so uh, that's basically what it looks like, and it just—it's uh, kind of classy, and it's great for any occasion. Honestly, if you just want your hair to look nice, uh, it'd be great for for a, a wedding. It'd be great for the beach. Perfect for the beach, especially if your hair gets so wind blown like mine does when my hair is too long. Um, but yeah, it's great for any occasion where you just kind of want something done with your hair. And um, yeah, I just love it. And hopefully you all will, will too. And let me know if you've tried it. And uh, definitely check out the video that I did of my daughters down below. And yeah, look for more hair tutorials coming very, very soon. And I'll see you all later. Bye.